Silver Belt Skimmer, the BPF1-08. Also with this product, we also have a BPF1-2, which you can get a two inch belt skimmer. And they go from sizes eight inches up to 24 inches. Anything after 24 inches will be considered a hanging belt skimmer. This is also how you receive your box from shipping when it ships to you from Zebra Skimmers. So let's go ahead and open it. So you have your paperwork, your manual. Let's go ahead and take that out. You also get your discharge hose for your belt skimmer. Your belt box, this is how your belt comes. And speaking of our belt, we also offer steel belts and cog belts. And when you pull the unit out of the box, you should also have a one inch set of wipers or a two inch set of wipers depending on the size of your skimmer. It will also come with a foot attachment. Now I'll show the standard way of hooking up the built skimmer. So basically you wanna take the unit off you want to take your belt and you would like to put your belt around the dry pulley. I recommend next opening up your wipers and your wipers will slide in right on your dip tray. So far this is how she looks. Next, you want to take the tape off of the bottom of the housing. Take the screw out of the foot assembly. And this will be used as your set screw to set it. Put the foot down in the shaft. Push the foot all the way down. And now your belt, pull your belt over the bottom of the idle pulley. And next, you want to set your set screw back in. And you just want it screwed down snug, not necessarily super tight. Next, you would take your skimmer and you would set it on your sump. This is the first hookup way. You would take your discharge hose, screw it into the dip tray, and you will have this discharge hose skimming into a container or a five-gallon five pail to skim off the tramp oil, which comes from the belt. So over time, because of this belt is under tension, it will stretch a little bit. What you will want to do is unscrew your set screw Move your foot assembly down just a little bit and retighten the set screw. Next, we have a sub assembly for our BPF 108, which is called a diverter, which is a BGX T4. So let's open, let's open up the box, how it will be received from shipping. So you will have your paperwork on top. More bubble wrap will come out. And let's pull out the unit next. So I'm unwrap the bubble wrap. And inside the diverter, your diverter should look like this. And inside the diverter, you should have galvanized nipples to tighten or unscrew your fittings. And you should also receive a screw pack inside your galvanized nipples. So now I'm going to set the diverter up on the bill skimmer. And also what the diverter does is it separates your coolant and tramp oil. It returns the coolant back to the sump and it discharges the tramp oil. So basically, this, was, this is how the attachment would look. And with this attachment, you will no longer need the discharge hose. The last assembly for this attachment would be a lock jaw, which is the BGX2. So we would want to open the box house received from shipping. So with this, you will receive your paperwork first. 
take out the bubble wrap and pull out the product. This would be a BGX tool with screw pack. And this would basically be for holding your product onto the sun. You wanna add your galvanized nipples to your BGST4. That way you can, if need be, they can be used to readjust the brass elbow fittings on the outside or inside. And they can also serve purpose for directing your flow of your coolant or also your tramp oil, whichever way you want it to go. It's kind of a customer's option. And this is the final assembly for this attachment, the lock jaw, which will hold the unit in place on the sump so it will not move. And I'm gonna reiterate with this attachment, you do not need a discharge hose at all. And this will be your full finished assembly.